a bit of a chilly day in the garden in February. The garden is certainly feeling the effects of winter. And there'll be more on that to come in future videos. But today we look back at some footage that I filmed in September and October. Uh, seems a long time ago now, it was a long time ago. Uh, hence the little introduction to, uh, so you don't think I've gone crazy, um, putting out a video from so long ago. For continuity, because I'm so professional, I've worn the same shirt as I had on that day. However, I have just realised that continuity is out the window because I've owned up to the fact that it's a, a different day, month or even the year. So ignore that. I'm going to go inside and put on a jumper. Hello everyone. If you're a subscriber to my channel, then welcome back. This video is all about the sago palm or Cycus revoluto. This plant behaves in quite a unique way in that it doesn't constantly produce new fronds. It waits, uh, sometimes for many years, before sending out a big flush of fronds that could be, could be 10, 20 or more fronds. Now I've only got some small plants, um, so it's not, not as many fronds as that in one go. But I'm for, because it's quite a unique occasion, I'm going to document the growth with a little daily uh, update. Um, now today is the first day I've noticed these, um, this new flush appearing and it's the 3rd of September so you'll be watching this um, a lot you know a long time after the 3rd of September uh, but I'll be doing a daily update on these um, which the videos will follow this monologue. So the palm is kept in my greenhouse in fact I've got um, three of them uh, they're hidden behind this um, Braha Amata oh, sorry no what's this uh, Braha Edulis so we'll move this out of the way a bit and reveal the three Cycus Revoluto behind. Now, I bought these from Morrison's earlier in the year, probably April time, and I've potted them up. They were in a you know a pot half the size of that, maybe maybe a third of the size of that. And I noticed the other day whilst watering, I was probably looking down from at this angle that. You can quite clearly see on this middle one some new fronds appearing and on the one on the left some new fronds appearing. Now the one on the right there aren't any unfortunately so that one doesn't seem to be flushing this year um, it look it appears to be the same age it's got a similar size um, trunk or cordex as the others um, so not quite sure why that one's chosen not to, but these two have. They've obviously got very similar conditions here. Um, but that's the way it is. So, um, these, I'm really pleased with the colour of these leaves here. They're, they're all still nicely, uh, nice, a nice deep green. Um, and I'll have a second set of these leaves, um, come, well, however long it takes and I'll document how long it, it takes through this video. Coming out of the greenhouse and onto the patio area. This is my other Cygo, uh, Cycus palm, Cycus revoluto, same uh, species, is obviously much older um, than the ones I bought early in the year. But you can also see it's a completely different colour. Now not quite sure why that is but these leaves are probably I, I don't document it so I don't know for sure but I don't think they were from last year I think they were from the year before so they're, they're two years old basically it doesn't well there's, there's nothing coming up although it, it does look quite pointy which is possibly a good sign that it's going to start flushing but getting quite late in the year now in September already so um, possibly not maybe maybe next year or hopefully next year so uh, I, I pointed out the color of the leaves before on my other my other um, palms in that I'm really pleased that 
uh, they haven't turned this color. Maybe they will. Maybe the, out, the older leaves on my other three or other two that are flushing will turn a sort of lime green color after it's flushed, but hopefully not. We'll see. So that's the update from today, the 3rd of August, uh, sorry, 3rd of September, 2022. Um, this one is further ahead look. And this one's very slightly behind. So it's important not to disturb um, the plants too much. I'm not gonna move them. Um, all I've done is move this, this palm out of the way. Um, so I'm not going to touch the, the emerging fronds at all. But I am going to show you an update every single day. Uh, well, as long as I remember. So here comes tomorrow's update. Okay, so it's now the 14th of September, so 11 days on since my first update. And a couple of things. Firstly, um, apologies, I haven't got around, you know, I, something came up and I wasn't able to take photographs every single day. Um, so there is um, two or three or possibly even four days missed. Um, however, um, I think the photos I have taken it does capture the, the daily growth or almost daily growth. And today I'm doing a little video um, because this one, uh, which is still, you know, slightly further ahead, maybe a day ahead of the one on the left, is starting to look quite interesting. So yesterday it looked like that and just these sort of um, almost circular um, fronds coming up don't look they don't look anything like the they do when they open however today these ones have started to sort of separate uh, from themselves and open up a little bit uh, particularly at the bottom of the frond and um, the tops are still very much curled in together I can't quite get it to focus there we go And so I just wanted to um, give that little update. Um, also, the other thing to say is that um, I called these palms earlier. They're obviously not palm trees. Um, they're cycads from the cycad family. So uh, not palm trees. They are called sago palms as a common name. So like, you know, several plants, um, they are referred to as palms, but they're not actually technically palms, obviously. They don't behave um, like a palm tree does either. So that's today's update. We'll be back to photos from tomorrow. Okay, it's the 15th of October today, and this is probably the last 
uh, photo or video I'm going to film on this subject. So you can see that they've established a lovely second set of fronds here. Um, this one here has always been slightly ahead of this one here. These are still unfurling, but in a few days, these will look just like this. And it's a beautiful, soft, I'm, being, I'm touching them very carefully because they're such a soft, delicate little, uh, little uh, fronds um, there. Now I did wonder, so this one didn't flush. And if I can show you in there, can you, I don't know if you can see just a tiny bit of green um, or yellowish green and it sort of looked like it's about to flush but I just think it might have got a bit too cold um, so I don't know quite what's going to happen there whether that's um, going to flush in the spring or next summer or whether actually that's a bit of an issue for the for the sago palm I'm not quite sure so I'll have to see what happens there but these these two um, looking really nice and, and healthy this one looks like it could do with a flush this is a nice um nice to show the, the difference because these two looks just like this one um a month and a half ago i'm just in the greenhouse today um putting some heat cable around some of the palms so these are often used in reptile cages or enclosures um, they just give off a little bit of heat I think this one is about 15 watts uh, and it's about three meters long so five watts per meter I think that's the um, the power of these this one's the same it's five watts per meter but it's a longer one so um, maybe 25 watts or something like that so I just I'm going round um, the perimeter really initially of the um, greenhouse and just to, to give the plants a little bit of protection just on the coldest of nights just when it goes below zero I will um, flick that on at the switch um, but I don't use it you know maybe maybe 10 nights a year probably okay so I hope you've enjoyed watching the Sago Palm Cycus Revoluta um, developing a a new set of leaves um, it really is a special thing when these flush um, and I wish this was touch a vision because these do feel beautiful you know the old leaves are so hard and um, sharp and you know horrible to touch really but the new ones are, are lovely so um, I am being very careful because I don't want to damage them but um, it is a lovely event and hopefully It'll happen again next year, although probably not. Final note. Oh, it's cold out here in just a t-shirt. Um, these are the part the cycads today on the I don't know the 18th of February. So still looking very similar to how you last saw them. Um, the one on the left still has curled edges, hasn't quite quite managed to unfurl before the um, the winter came. And the one on the right, still nothing to report. Didn't quite manage a flush. Hopefully it will this year. So that really is it. And thank you very much for watching, if indeed you still are.